there was an element of mystery about this event. I was taken to a, quote, secret meeting where I wasn't allowed to talk about what they were going to show me until this morning. And I believe that all the people that came, the journalists that came to see all this today, uh, were also given the secret treatment. And I think the London Aquarium adds to that because it's dark, um, the fish are moving slowly around. Um, it's a really nice location to, uh, to present the product. Genuinely excited. I did one or two of these type of things a year for different people, and, and I'm quite selective about it because, actually, as you know, as journalists, sometimes it, it, it can get a little bit cheesy. You know, it can get a little bit difficult when your kind of professionalism is required to represent a product. And uh, what I liked about Hightech was their approach to it. I think it was something similar to what I hear happened to you this morning. Was it was all a little bit mysterious. Did you get like text messages? We're going to go to a secret place. Okay, I got that. Okay, I got an NDA, which always excites me. And then they said, uh, we want to make you work uh, to show you something truly amazing, but you mustn't tell anyone about it. So we met in a, uh, a secret location, okay, and I was a little bit sceptical, if I'm absolutely honest. Uh, and then they showed me um, their Iron Mass technology. And honestly, I know if you've seen the gadget show, you'll know that I'm you know, a professional enthusiast. But honestly, I was blown away. Okay, this technology is phenomenal. It's like so from Star Trek. And I don't want to put you off by sort of getting too excited on your behalf. But if, when you take your press packs away today, you're not showing absolutely everyone in your family and in your office, I'll be utterly amazed. Okay, so high tech, you know, are a British institution. They've been going since 1974. Their whole ethos is about uh, great design and innovation, really innovative fabrics. Um, but this sort of rewrites those books, okay? This is truly uh, amazing science. So rather than tell you all about it, I'm, I'm actually going to start by showing you uh, high tech's iron mass in operation, okay? So what we've got here uh, are some absorbent materials, okay? So this is an untreated piece of car, all right? It's like a blue pizza on you, but it really is worth it, okay? So dip it in the water, what happens? It absorbs the water and starts to go mushy, ship, okay? So, the same process on a piece of car treated with Kitex iron mask delivers a completely different result. Let me just explain. <laughs> the problem with brilliant and amazing ideas and truly innovative science, which all of us in the jobs that we do are looking for, right? Because you don't often get served up some mediocre stuff. Sometimes, when it's truly magical, it's actually difficult to see the wow factor. That's a normal piece of card, okay? Until a week ago, it was sitting in Ryman's or wherever, and it was a completely ordinary piece of card. It's been treated with iron mask, and now it is completely water repellent. So the, the concept that you've got to get your head around here is that for a high-tech shoe, for example, you're familiar with, with other, other products that claim to be water repellent or have water repellent abilities, you have to construct the shoe around the product, yeah, around the fabric. That's not the case with iron mass. You make the shoe, you do whatever you want. You make whatever you want, actually. You put it in the amazing iron mass machine that people far cleverer than I would explain to you how it works in a minute. And what you get are these amazing results. Um, kitchen paper, okay? So one of the most absorbent materials that any of us come into contact with. There you go. Look at that. Look at that! It's absolutely amazing. Let me just do it again. Let me find the scoop up some water in it. It looks like mercury on the surface. Look! I've done it on toilet paper. That was what they showed me. On the <laughs> Which is great. A great college gag. <laughs> okay, let's be honest, I'm paid to be here because I'm on the telly, companies ask me to represent their product, and I choose those things really carefully because I could actually really compromise my professional integrity, and so my filter for saying yes or no to a, an event like this is, is, is the technology truly remarkable? This is possibly one of the most remarkable things I've, I've seen.